much, guys. We here on The Morning Show, we're always talking about wonderful smells coming from the kitchen. This morning, <laughs> Stacey, I'd have to say the light lemon <laughs> fragrance that's going on right now. That's is, all I got. It's kind of a nice change of pace from the, the crab and the garlic, not that we're ever complaining about those wonderful smells. You can always tell smells, the difference between the Shaunas and, and yes, my segment. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. But we're always happy to have you here. And today we're talking about different ways to use salt. Salt. We, Not we, on your vegetables. No, I mean it's a it's a great it's um, a great condiment. It, if it's you a great will. condiment, yes. Um, but we usually talk about baking soda and vinegar and sure. the plethora of things we can do with them. There are actually, um, according to the Salt Institute, which is an actual website. Over 14,000 uses for salt. We're going to do all 14,000 no, today? No, we're not. We're doing about six. <laughs> we need about 17 hours to <laughs> we're do that. About six. <laughs> Let me show you some really neat things um, that you can do with salt. And the really great thing, it's, it's non-toxic. Okay. So we can use them all around our house. And um, a really great tip... Um, if you have flowers, fresh cut flowers, and they forget to add that little packet. That little packet. Sometimes I get so mad when it's not in there. When it's not I feel in like there. I'm paying for it. Add two tablespoons of salt to your water, making sure the water's actually a little lukewarm. A little bit warm. And dissolves it's going to, it a little it's bit. It's going to dissolve it, and it's going to keep the color, and the flowers are going to last longer. Well, there's a hint, because the, you know, the boyfriend always says they die too quick. That's a waste add of money. Add some salt. Add some salt, darling, and that's yeah. all you have to worry about. <laughs> okay. Candles. To extend the life of your candle, go ahead and Submerge it before you light it, a, a new candle. Submerge it in some salt water solution. The submerge. salt water solution, keep it for probably about a day, the day before you want to light it. Then take it out, completely dry it. This is actually going to maintain the life of your candle and prevent it from dripping as much. No joke. No joke. Wow, you learn no something joke. new every day on this television show, don't you? I, it's amazing, isn't it? It, it, really, it really is. These are two good tips I'm going to take home and, and probably do myself. Well, red wine is a, a big one. If, if red wine spills on a tablecloth yes. or gets on your clothes, mm -hmm. all you have to do is immediately you're going to want to blot it with a dry towel to pull up as much red wine as you can, and then you're going to pour a pile of salt on it. It's going to pull the rest of the wine out, and then you're going to submerge it in ice cold water for about 30 minutes before laundering. Have we tried this? We have. I've tried it. And it it works? does work. That okay. does work. All yes. right. Uh, seltzer water and salt make a great alternative for fridge to clean your fridge. Non-toxic. So Scrub it doesn't. It out. Mm -hmm. Also removes the perspiration from armpit stains. A little bit of salt water solution under the armpit. The yellowing. The, the yellowing. Oh my. We'll pull that out. Uh, my absolute favorite. Cut a lemon in half. Put a little bit of salt on it, and you can actually use this as a scrubber um, in your sink and on your pans if you do not have a sponge handy. You don't handy. have those harmful chemicals no that dry out the skin chemi and get the exactly. contact lenses all exactly. messed up. Okay. The day before you use your new toothbrush, by soaking it in some salt water solution, it's going to extend the life of the bristles even longer. Uh, cheesecloth, by submerging some cheesecloth in salt water solution, about two tablespoons of salt water, wrapping your cheese in it. Once it's had a little bit of time to, you know, you want to wring it out. Uh -huh. uh, damp cheesecloth with salt water will extend the life of cheese so it won't get moldy. Wow. It'll last longer. Um, this is old. My mother taught me this trick. Okay. Putting the two tablespoons of salt in some uh, cold water. If the egg drops to the bottom, that means it's completely fresh. If it floats to the top, that means it doesn't necessarily mean it's a spoiled egg. It just means that it's a little bit more mature. So you're going to want to crack it and take a look at the coloring and smell before you actually use that egg. Oh my gosh! Mm -hmm. and, last and then but the tie. I mean, waitresses this, and waiters use this across, you know, across the country. Salt water and ice will get that stain that from around the around coffee there. pot, and a little bit of salt added to your dish soap will get that grimy coffee ring mm. that doesn't always come off. It'll remove that too, as well. I think I've got some grimy coffee cups around here somewhere. So there you go. Nice enough to rinse out, but <laughs> Stacy, I hope you learned something. I, 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 I'm gonna go back and look at this online later on. This is good stuff, lady. All right, Thanks. and we'll be back. Um, our next segment is about things that you can do with a lemon. Okay.